Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? Okay, this is a review, I guess. Kind of a review of a movie called King Richard starring Will Smith about the Serena Williams sisters and their uh, their dad. It was like the core of the movie. Now I'm going to say this. I liked the movie. I thought was, like, I, I enjoyed watching it. Now, does it make it greatness? No. For me, the only thing that's greatness about there is, I think there, there is a sense of greatness in the movie. And it's Will Smith. Bro. <laughs> I used to make, I, I made fun of him because of the, the Chris Rock slap. Like, and then, and then like, you know, 30 minutes later, he's walking up for best actor <laughs> at the Oscars. Like he wins the award right after <laughs> I made fun of that. But I'm like, he kind of carried it. Like he, he is by far the most interesting thing in the movie. And the like, he, it, it, it's a Will Smith. I carried this movie type thing. Doesn't mean the movie around it was bad. I'm saying, I mean, there's some cheesy parts to it, but it's the character of Richard that is the most interesting and unique and very charismatic character. And the way he was done was charismatic. And I was like, fuck, I like that. Because in the beginning, I was, I was thinking corny and campy. I'm like, what is this corny, campy? Let me guess, if you eat your take your vitamins all you every little black girl can become a fucking tennis star or something like that which is somewhat part of the message but it's not it the beginning was a lot more like it was like a cheese fest to me i'm like oh god oh here comes the the random gangbanger who beats up the wholesome dad for no fucking reason yada 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 (laughs) actually a funny scene where that dude gets shot i was like holy fuck you fucking laid him out bro but, uh, yeah, it was, like, campy. Even the music was kind of campy and shit like that in the beginning. And then it started, and the movie started, I think, developing and changing as the characters were growing, right? As, like, Venus and Serena were, were aging, right? As Richard doesn't look as much as the motivational dad, as much as a, a control freak or an asshole, right? It, like, that starts becoming more and imp- more apparent, to where the shine of him kind of wears off a bit. And it's like, man, you're like fucking overly controlling your kids and shit like that and trying to dictate their lives. And you're, you're a bit of a tyrant, man. And you're a tyrant with, uh, with everyone around you. And, uh, and, you know, I feel like you're hustling too to get your fucking kids to where you want them to, to where you want to get them to. And, uh, so there was like actual, like more weight to the character as the movie went on. And I'm like, oh, okay. I appreciate it. I was ready to turn it off. Like, fucking 20 minutes in, I'm like, huh, let me start looking up other movies, which I literally started doing. And then the more I kept watching, the more I'm like, oh, man, I'm, like, into this now. Now I'm talking about the movie while I'm watching it and enjoying it and having a good time watching this. Yes, there's campy moments, like, you know, cheesy fucking moments and all that, but I think that's a part of, you know... I don't, I don't know about their real story, but I would suspect if you do like a sports movie, that's going to be in there. The cheesy stuff of, you can do it, type shit. <laughs> you know, and the training montage or whatever, right? I do some of the, the sports scenes were like beautifully shot. They didn't take me out of it to where it's like, oh my God, that ball looks like it's hit 10 miles an hour. There's no way this is professional tennis. Like, no, they made it look kind of kind of real looking. So I appreciate that. Just as like a personal pet peeve when they don't do that. It looks terrible. With some dude with terrible mechanics throwing he's supposed to be throwing two hundred miles an hour, you know, Charlie Sheen from Major League. And it didn't look that bad. Charlie Sheen didn't look that bad, but there's we you know what I'm talking about. Or that jump shot that looks horrible, but it always swishes in the movie. It's like bullshit. Uh so I appreciate their little cinematography with the the actual Athlete, athletics happening, actual the actual game of tennis. Uh, but the I'll get right to it. The the reason why I would give this movie uh, a seven six 
I'll give it a seven six. To me, it's like slightly above average. Like it's it's pretty good. It's all right. You know, I'll say it's all right. Pretty good. Better than average. And that is for one sole reason, and that is Will Smith. That is King Richard. That is the the character Richard Williams. That character is why this movie is uh, rated above average. And that's kudos to fucking Will Smith, man. I enjoyed the shit out of his character. When they made him watch fucking Cinderella, like, they didn't get the point, so let's watch it again. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fucking hilarious and awesome. And the beginning is a little wonky, but when you start figuring out the character, you start adding layers and by, based on decision-making that Richard's doing and stuff like that. Then it, the char- you can see the character more, and it gets more interesting, and it makes you want to follow, like, what's he doing? What's he thinking about? It makes you want to follow the character around. And he's a right, big chunk of the movie. Whatever, whatever the William sisters are doing, they're going to cut the fucking Will Smith's reaction to it. 100%. All right? Because he's the main focal point. And he hard-carried. Hard-carried the movie. So, kudos to Will Smith. 7.6 for the movie. In totality, there's my review of King Richard.